Now in this particular example, we are looking for the concentration of a substance, but we don't have been given or we don't know the extinction coefficient of this substance. So usually we would find the concentration of a substance by using the Bayer-Lambert law. So we would write A equals concentration times the extinction coefficient times the path length, and that would be at a particular path path wavelength. So here it would be 422 nanometer, but we don't know the extinction coefficient. So we would need to employ a different strategy here. And what we can do is we do some measurements of known concentrations of our substance, uh, given as milligram per milliliter, uh, where we measure the absorbance in a spectrophotometer at the right wavelengths and uh, create with this table, we create um, a standard curve, which we can then use for our uh, measurement of the unknown concentration. So how would we do that? We just uh, simply create the standard curve. I highlight the cells uh, with the left mouse click and then go to charts and click on this chart here where it says scatter plot and that's exactly what we want we want a scatter plot here i make this a little bit larger and we get a nice plot of the data let's see if, if we can make the text a little bit larger so yep so that's our text. We can do a sort of a trend line, but it looks a pretty much a straight line here. Uh, let's quickly do the trend line. So we add a trend line and we want the equation and also the R square value. So this is our uh, trend line for this curve. Now let's quickly write down what the different axes represent. So on the x-axis we've got the concentration and that would be in milligram per milliliter. And on the y-axis we have the absorbance. And as I said, this is our equation here. We can write the equation for this straight line as y equals mx plus c. In this case, the c is zero because it goes through the origin and we don't have to worry about that. Okay, now with this very good um, trend line or line of best fit and we know it's a very good line because this r square value is equal to one which means it's a perfect fit we can now use our absorbance that we measured for the unknown concentration so here the unknown concentration had an absorbance of 0 0.192 and we can sort of estimate what would give which concentration here would give an absorbance of 0 0.192? So we could say, well, 0 0.912 would probably be something like that. And we go to horizontally at 0 0.19, 0 0.192, and try to figure out the corresponding concentration here. So that would be this one here. So it would be between 30 and 40, maybe a little bit larger than 35. And the unit would be milligram per milliliter. But uh, as you can see, it's a little bit tricky to, uh, you know, sort of estimate exactly where it is. But we can actually use this equation here to calculate the uh, concentration. So we said we've got y equals mx. So our 
what we need to do is we solve this or make x the subject. So x equals y over m. And for y, that would be our absorbance, 0 0.192 divided by the gradient. And this gradient is given here as 0 0.0005. Three. Now we just simply put that into Excel. We don't need to calculate it ourselves. Let me make this larger. So we will just simply say equals 0 0.192 divided by the gradient, and that was 0 0.0053. And we would get a value, again, I'll make this a little bit larger, of around 36. We probably need to be careful with uh, the number of uh, digits after the decimal point. I don't think we can be more precise than this 36. What's the unit? Well, the unit is, of course, this milligram per milliliter milligram per milliliter. And we also want to find out what is the extinction coefficient uh, for this uh, substance. And again, that is uh, very easy because the extinction coefficient is just simply the gradient of this trend line. That is the extinction coefficient. And we uh, can uh, see this very easily because we've got, for example, here an absorbance, uh, a concentration and an absorbance. So we can calculate using the Beer-Lambert law that we've written here. We said if we make epsilon now the subject, Epsilon equals absorbance divided by the concentration times length. We've got an absorbance of 0 0.053 divided by the concentration, and we had 10 milligram per milliliter times one centimeter. And from that, we can actually easily calculate the extinction coefficient, which would give us 0 0.0053. And you see, this was exactly this gradient here. And what's the unit? It would be milliliter times milligram to the minus one centimeter to the minus one in this case, because the unit for the concentration was given in milligram per milliliter. So I hope this makes sense. And thank you very much for watching.